Hello everyone. I'm Dr. Chinmay Patti from Isha Women's Hospital, Mumbai. Today, I'm going to discuss the role of time lapse monitoring of the embryos. Now, remember, conventionally, whenever in IVF treatments, when we fuse the eggs and the sperms together, after that, we keep these eggs inside the incubator. And for the next five days, to monitor how the embryos are growing, we have to take those eggs out momentarily for a few seconds, check them under the microscope how the embryo is growing, and then again put it back inside the incubator. Now, typically what we do is on the day when we do the ICSI procedure, then the next day we check how many eggs are fertilized. Again, on the day three, we check how many eggs have actually developed till the day three stage of the embryos, and again, on day 5, we check actually how many blastocysts are formed out of the number of eggs we have injected the sperms with. So, if you see, approximately 3 to 4 times, we have to take the eggs out and check under microscope. Now, each time when we do that, we are in some way exposing the embryos to the outside environment. Although even the outside environment in the lab is definitely well monitored, the labs are equipped with air handling units where the air itself is a very special one. But in spite of that, nonetheless, the embryos do get exposed to the outside surrounding. And here comes the technological advances wherein now the science has developed this tool wherein we do not have to take the embryos out. Meaning, conventionally, whenever we put the sperms in the egg, for the next five days, what we have to do, take the embryos out for checking, we don't have to do this in this machine. So what you see in front of you is a time lapse incubator in which what we do is here are the chambers. If you see, here are six chambers in this time lapse machine and inside each chamber, we keep the eggs after doing ICSI. Then what happens for the next five days? the eggs are growing inside these chambers. We do not have to now take the embryos out to check how they are growing. Why? Because this machine now will help us in monitoring how these egg eggs are growing inside these chambers through this console and through this. So essentially what will happen is we will come to know what is happening in, with those eggs inside this chamber just by looking at these two screens because there are cameras installed inside these incubators wherein they will show us direct live relay of the images which are happening inside these incubators now how does this help us this helps us on two accounts number one obviously we avoid the exposure of the embryos to the outside surrounding but number two is now from day zero till day five now we have serial images of the embryo growth. That means from day zero, from the day when we have injected egg with the sperm till the day five, that is the blastocyst stage, for those entire five day journey, we have captured with the help of images, right? Now what happens further is there are installed AI softwares, which not only just click images, but they also serially juxtapose them and they can actually make a time-lapse movie out of it and what they do is then they serially analyze all these images and they can actually tell us at what rate a particular embryo is growing now let's say in this incubator if we keep six eggs and out of that four eggs are growing well in the blastocyst stage then there are four embryos which are growing and the computer is monitoring all those four separately. Now on the day five, when we have blastocyst ready, what essentially will happen is this machine will help embryologists in not only knowing which embryo has developed till blastocyst, but it will also help them in finding out which embryo has actually become the best blastocyst in terms of grade in terms of their growth. How? Because there are different time points in the journey of embryo. 
from day zero till day five, there are different time points. And this machine and the embryologist will analyze those time points and then they will tell us that which embryo has achieved all those time points perfectly and even if we are seeing four good quality embryos on day five, even then we will still come to know which is the best among them. And then the embryologist can choose that embryo and we can help women achieve better pregnancy rate why because then we will shift exact we will transfer exactly that embryo into the woman's womb so that's the advantage of time lapse monitoring of the embryo now i'll be showing you how actually time lapse images they look now as you see in front of you there is a video which is playing and now i'll be explaining to you what exactly the cell stages from the day zero till day five of the embryo growth they happen so watch the video now now what you have in front of you on the screen is a time lapse images of the cell if you see the cells are now multiplying from one they became two two to four four to six and what you have in front of you is what we call as a morula from the morula the embryo is growing further and if you look at the cells which are growing rapidly slowly you will see they are coming together and finally they have reached the stage of compaction this is a compaction stage embryo from which we are getting now to the development stage of a blastocyst so this is blastocyst now this was the time lapse monitoring of the embryos so now as you understood the time lapse monitoring of the embryo has really opened a new horizon in terms of embryo monitoring for embryologists. Even today, a good embryologist is definitely the priceless position for IVF lab. And time lapse incubator will only help such embryologists to do even better job in terms of selecting embryo. Thank you.